Hey, hi, hello my friends. It's Christy with 4AM Junk Journals <clears throat> and I am here this beautiful Sunday morning to do art before breakfast with you. So once again, I know, surprise, surprise, we are going to alter another Project Life card this morning and um, I've got a whole, um, uh, oh, think, Christy, think, um, Woodlands theme going on this morning. And so let's have some fun with it, shall we? Um, I'm just going to get started. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I am filming early, so today is actually Saturday. Um, it's still my art before breakfast. I still um, am doing this, you know, um, before breakfast. It's just that I got a day ahead. Thank goodness, because sometimes it's really difficult um, first thing in the morning to manage to do the video and edit it. So by doing it this way, I can do the video first thing in the morning and edit it that evening after work or whatever and have it still for you at 6 a.m. the next morning. This is the way I like it. This works for me. <laughs> um, because, you know, I like to have this video up at 6 a.m., um, but like I said, sometimes it's hard to get the, the recording and the editing all in. So, so as I said, today's actually Saturday for me, um, and um, as you guys know, because you've heard me talking about it so much, today is the day of our... Um, our event at work, our open house and spring festival. Um, so I very soon am going to need to leave the house. I have to go to um, the nearby town to the uh, Hobby Lobby and or um, party supply shop and see if I can find um, some face paint for our face painter. Who is coming um, so because we definitely want to make sure she has face paint that's kind of important when you've got somebody coming to do face painting that they have face paint right right um, there's a lot of fussy cutting in this morning's video I'm just telling you now I will show you why in a minute um, yeah, I'm kind of all over the place. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to use some of this old music paper. After work, I will be working on schoolwork, some videos, um, cleaning, a lot of cleaning this weekend. Got to get it done. It's making me insane. Not just my art studio slash craft room, whatever you want to call it. I prefer the term art studio just because it makes me feel um, like... I'm doing art studio. Well, you know, come on. <laughs> but no, I just, I like that term better. Um, but not just my art studio needing cleaned, but my um, house is a disaster. Like a disaster. Because things have been so crazy recently. And um, my husband has not been well. Um, my son is a brat. And <laughs> everything's just gotten out of hand. So, Thomas and my dogs. Oh my goodness. The other day, I went to the store with my mom and my sister because I had to get some things for this party at work. And, um, they were in town shopping and so we just met up and so we were in 
five below. And um, they had these adorable dog toys and my mom was picking some up for her dogs. And I saw this one that I just thought, oh, Avery would love that. Now Avery's my littlest dog, not the youngest, but the littlest. And I was like, Avery would just love that. And I said, but it wouldn't last five seconds in my house. Well, I bought it anyway, because yeah, I just am a glutton for punishment. So I bought it anyway, and I brought it home to him, and he absolutely adored it. I should have gotten one for his sister, too, because Emmy had a fit. But um, brought it in, and within five minutes, he had ripped the squeaker out, and pieces of this rubber toy were going everywhere. Everywhere. So now there are green pieces of rubber toy all over my living room. I mean, all over my living room. It's awful. So I told my son this morning, I said, you need to get in there and clean up all that rubber toy. Now, I understand. I'm the one that brought that toy home. <laughs> but <laughs> I do work. And he does not. Well, he to be fair, he does. He's babysitting for his sister right now um, until the school year is out so that, you know, he's helping her out um, because she couldn't. Um, it was too much to hire a babysitter, you know. And um, she's paying him a little bit, but mostly he's doing it to help her. But, um... So, while I understand that, really, truthfully, I'm the one that brought that home, he gets to clean it up anyway. Because, yeah. But, yeah, it was pretty awful. And I knew he would do it. I knew he would tear it up. I don't know why I do that. I spend perfectly good money on toys that won't last five and a half seconds. Those of you who have small children understand what I'm talking about. And a lot of you who have fur babies understand what I'm talking about. I remember this from when my kids were little. It was like, I don't really want to buy them this toy because while it's super cool and I know they want it, they'll have it torn up in, you know, a day. And, you know, then your kids grow up and you think, well, not my problem anymore. If their kids do this, you know, it's not my problem. And I don't have that. And then you get dogs. <laughs> And why you get dogs, we do not know because it's stupid. Because <laughs> you get dogs and you bring them home and you buy them toys. And it's the same cycle as when you had children. That is just terrible. And they're just as messy. My kids and them, I mean, just, just as messy. my mom tells me because you know I do this uh, you know I'll be fussy cutting in the living room and she's always commenting when she see when, you know when we talk about it she's always commenting about how when I was a kid she would always find you know random scraps of paper everywhere and <laughs> apparently I never outgrew it just one second It's all right, though. We don't mind, do we? Because we understand, those of us who are in the junk journaling world, we understand about the random scraps of paper. And you can't throw them away, either. See this? See, see these little random... I'm not going to throw them away. They're going to go into my little scrap box, and I'm going to keep them until I can use them, because... Heaven knows I might never find another random scrap of paper anywhere, right? Oh, it's crazy. Sometimes I do crazy stuff. I like him right there. What do y'all think? Yeah. I like 
him right there. So I hope your weekend is going well. Um, let's see, what else has been going on? Uh, today, or it'll be yesterday for y'all, um, my town is having citywide yard sale. And I am missing it because I have to do this other thing at work. Which my kitchen manager, or my dietary manager, has already been texting me, freaking out, um, because they're doing, you know, the grilling. Um, and we're making hot dogs for the community. And um, she's already freaking out. And I don't blame her. I'm a little freaked out. Everything is just not... It's just stressful. And come 6 o'clock this evening, everybody will be fine and relaxed. And the world will be good again. But right now... I messed stuff. I shouldn't have put the box down yet. Dang it. I want the flower under him. Well, that's fine because with that fabric, it didn't stick very well anyway. I'm going to have to use my Fabri-Tac. Um, so, yeah, we're all a little bit stressed and freaking out right now. Um... But it's not that big a deal. I mean, it's just the basic premise of the whole thing is to get improved relations with the community um, and, you know, show the changes we've made to the facility. If we can accomplish those two goals, then everything else will just kind of fall into place. But I am kind of getting behind on everything. Not only am I behind at work and school, but um, I've got a couple of swaps I need to put out. I've got some things I need to list in my Etsy shop today. That has to be done today because I've got somebody waiting for me to post a listing so that they can purchase it. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, all this fussy cutting is a lot. Um, seems like, oh, I've got to get my Sunday shares out from last Sunday. I have a hard time um, getting those ready. I'm almost always a week behind. Um, I know they say to get them ready ahead of time and then post, you know, but um, my life <laughs> very rarely works like that. Um, so I. And really, it's not a big deal. The, the Sunday shares from last week were some of my artwork. And I just have to decide what I want to send and package it up. I mean, it'll take probably 15 minutes once I get to do it. Um, so maybe that will be my goal for when I first get home from work tonight. Um, and then what else have I got going on? Oh, tomorrow is, I think tomorrow is Designer Spotlight. Is that right? I think tomorrow is Designer Spotlight. So I need to choose that. And what else? Um, oh, I've got a new series I'm wanting to start. Well, it's not really, it's not really a series. It's a um, like a um, start to finish type thing. So it wouldn't be like ongoing. It'd just be, and I need to work on ten for Tuesday for next week because 
Otherwise, I may never finish that. My goal for that is to start working on 10 for Tuesday, like 10 or 15 minutes a day. If I do that, um, I shouldn't have as much trouble getting it done. Well, maybe 30 minutes a day, because those videos are usually about three and a half hours long before I edit them. So it'll probably take about 30 minutes a day. But that's all right too, right? I would spend all of my time on this if I could get away with it. So yesterday I had um, a there's a group, well, a farm that um, she has like horses and she does like things for uh, charity type stuff. And um, so she came out yesterday and brought the horse, brought a horse to see our residence. And her working dog um, came with her and he was so cute. Um, and uh, so the residents got to sit outside and see the horse and pet it. And one of my residents, I had to I had to take a picture of her kissing the horse. And um, then um, it was happy hour yesterday. So um, went and got them some beer. I didn't. I had um, some help. Uh, one one of the other managers. Um, our maintenance supervisor went and got it for me because I was tied up with the horses. Um, but uh, so then they had their beer and pretzels and it was a good time. I mean, it was probably the best um, activity day in ages. It was so funny. One of my residents, I walked into his room because he hadn't been outside. And I walked into his room and I said, hey, you want a beer? He said, a beer? I said, yeah, a beer. You want a beer? And he's like, well, hell yeah. <laughs> so, and then I said, you want some pretzels? Yeah. It's a lot of fun to see them happy like that, you know? And something so simple as having a beer. I mean, you know, that's just... Oops. fabric tack for this one since it's going to stick directly down to the fabric. Got to order some more of this too. Been asked me the other day, what was that glue you were using that smelled so bad? Everybody hates the smell of this fabric pack except me. Sorry, I hope we're in frame. I should 
second. Check. Yeah, we're good. Okay. And I realize how weird it is. I really do. But I just really like the smell of Fabri-Tac. I'm going to put a little bit of that on there just because it was coming out the top of the bottle. And I don't want to waste it. But then we'll get my regular glue over here too. can't stop the sniffles. So I pulled a bunch of stuff. We may not be able to use all of it. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put these pieces into my Littles box and um, I want to look at something else real quick. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, I've got in my deco stickers. Oops, wrong glue. Um, the brown ones are fairly small and they are Kind of close to what we would want, I think, for this.
Okay. So now, mm, I'm a little dizzy. So now I'm thinking what it needs is a little bit of gesso and some ink. And we'll be just about done with this little project. And um, once we've gessoed it and inked it, I am going to matte medium it because um, that was, uh, I didn't glue everything down. Okay, give that just a second to dry, and then once it's dried, we will be ready to um, ink it, ink it, ink it, which I think I will probably use Vintage Photo and frayed burlap on it. coming out nice. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me grab my matte medium while it's drying. Uh, it is cold in my room this morning. It wasn't. It was uh, nice and toasty warm and then um, I guess my boy must have gotten hot and because my room be freezing to death and his will be sweltering. It's awful. I just don't understand it. So this is the frayed burlap. Do a little vintage photo. thinking. Let me come over here I'm just gonna do a little bit of stenciling down this side. Maybe just a wee bit over here. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. Now, how about should we do some stamping? 
I like using my stamp, which I'm sure you guys have figured out by now because I use it all the time, all the time. Be right back okay so I did go ahead and stitch around that um, just to add a little something and then I'm going to go over the top of the stitching with the vintage photo um, because I don't you know the the um, thread is a little light it's not real light um, but it's just a little light and so Now, the only thing I will think I still need to do is to map medium this. And I think this one we're going to call done. I really, really love the way it's turned out. Um, I hope you like it too. It makes me quite happy. By putting this matte medium on, it should stick down anything that's still popping up. Just want to make sure I got a good coat and that everything is covered. It's nine o'clock. I've got to get to town. Oh boy. that dry and then I'll take a quick quick picture of it but there we are this is our art before breakfast for Sunday April the 16th 2023 thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed it I hope you found it useful or at the very least entertaining I hope that you crafted along and I hope you'll join me for another video again very soon if you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you click that little bell, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today. Drop me a picture and I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye.